Hello and welcome. GitLab recently released two interesting features. First is the new uh, Web ID beta powered by the open source VS Code and a remote development environment. And you can connect, pair the Web IDE with the remote development environment. In this demo, I'm excited to show you both features. My name is Itzingan Baruch. I'm a senior technical marketing manager here at GitLab. So let's see uh, the new features. So uh, this is a GitLab uh, project. Uh, this is my source code. And you can see here the button for opening the web IDE. And if you're already familiar with the old web IDE, uh, you will notice that the new default now has a new interface. And this is the beta version uh, of the new web IDE. And uh, this is uh, only a minimal version with minimal uh, features, what we are calling uh, MVC. And the team is uh, iterating and will add more and more features and uh, the upcoming uh, milestones. So let's see what uh, exists today. So if you uh, see on the left side, this is my uh, project that is open because I opened this web ID for my project at GitLab. So I can see my uh, code. And we can see a few icons on the left side, which are for different tabs. First is the file explorer to open my code, a search or search and replace capability, and the version control where you can commit your code. We have here two tabs that currently in this version disabled. One is the run and debug and extensions. And uh, you can open uh, settings to change uh, things like a uh, theme. For example, if you want uh, to change the color or if you want to have any other settings that the VS Code provides, for example, if you want to uh, change the font size uh, or other settings that you want to make in the editor. So let's see a, a, a quick flow. So I will create a folder and I will open the contextual menu, which is a nice feature that wasn't available in the previous editor that you can create a new file, so finding files, easy rename files or folder. So I will just create a new file. I will write something. All right, so, and uh, I can also do a drag and drop of this file if we can, I want to make it uh, out from the test folder to the root of the repository or uh, return it back to the test uh, folder. And uh, let's see how you can uh, search now. Uh, I can use the search to look for the word DevOps and immediately find it here and I can now Replace it with okay, stack ops. And I even it, it presents to me side by side uh, the original and what I want to change. And so I will change it. And uh, in this uh, version, we can uh, search on any, on multiple uh, open files. And the team uh, plan to uh, enable this search capability for uh, any file in the project. So uh, we added a change to the repository. So now let's uh, commit it to, uh, to a new branch. So we will add here a commit message, right? So and commit uh, and push it to the repository and I can uh, create a new branch or use commit to the main branch. So I will commit to a new branch and here I can add a name for the new branch or just click enter to get uh, to accept a default name. And now I committed on the bottom right, you can see a, a new pop-up success. Your changes have, be, have been committed and I have three options. I can continue working with this editor or go to my GitLab project or create merge request. So I will just create a merge request, assign myself and uh, click the create a merge request button. And as you notice, because I pushed a new change a pipeline already immediately started to build and test my uh, change. So now I want to show you the second part is how I can connect to the remote development environment and work for my web browser, but on uh, uh, not on my local machine, on my remote development environment, where all of the runtime environment, the dependencies, 
everything will be need, will be installed on a remote development development environment on any cloud and me as a developer will not need to uh, install anything locally on my machine so i will start by uh, opening the terminal and configure the remote connection uh, the first step is to provide a domain URL to the remote uh, development environment. And in this version, the developer needs to uh, create or someone needs to create this remote development environment. Uh, basically, what you need uh, is a VM on any cloud provider. And in our online uh, documentation, you can find under remote development, you can see uh, the, how to create this uh, remote uh, environment. Basically, we prepared a uh, a Docker image, so you just need to run this uh, Docker uh, command and it will create for you the Docker image on that VM and it will include anything that you need in order to connect from your web ID. So I have already such a, a, dev a remote development environment, so I will add the URL and here now I, <clears throat> I need to provide the path to uh, the project in that environment and I need also to provide a connection token also in the online documentation you can see how you can generate this certificate All right, so now by clicking this button I'm switching from my from working on my local machine into the uh, VS Code the server, server base, which is installed on my remote uh, development environment. Great, so now if you notice, I have a new project. This is my source code that is installed in the remote environment. I can continue working now and get uh, immediate feedback and everything will be done uh, on the, that machine. And if I want, uh, I can open a terminal to the machine. Uh, this can be useful to have to install anything if you want. I want if I want to install any dependencies on, on that machine or view a log file. So anything that I want, I can now from my web ID from my browser have a secured access to that remote machine. So let's run a few commands like uh, see what we have. And if I want, for example, to see the content of the Nginx. So, Uh, here I can uh, I see the uh, content of the Nginx and I can do I have the full flexibility to work on the project and uh, full uh, terminal access and this what I just show you is just the beginning if you want to learn more about uh, our planning and the team roadmap of uh, this feature you, you can open our handbook page and see the maturity plan so what I've just showed you is the minimal uh, maturity level, which allows you to connect between the uh, local web IDE to the remote in, uh, development environment. But here you can see the full roadmap until this feature will be lovable by our end users. So with that, I will conclude the demo. Hope you find it uh, interesting, and I encourage you to try it yourself. And thank you for watching.